Hey guys, Coach Hunter here for this week's Monday Mindset. Today we're going over John Wood's Pyramid of Success and the definition of intentness. So guys, what is John Wood's definition of intentness? His definition of intentness is setting a realistic goal and concentrating on its achievement by being determined and persistent. My definition of intentness is how we do anything is how we do everything. We have to have the intent to succeed. So we want to make sure that everything that we're doing is the exact same way with the same amount of energy and effort. We want to make sure that excellence is not an act, but it's a habit that we build and we build upon. So we've got to set realistic goals. We've got to do things that, you know, that aren't just dreams. We need to make sure that if we have a dream, we set goals to achieve that dream. We want to make sure that we're not setting ourselves up for failure by dreaming about something and not doing the groundwork to get to that goal. So everything we do, we want to make sure there's milestones, little check marks here and there to get to that goal and make sure that we're filling it along the way. Because if we don't have those, that's the fuel for failure, guys. We won't be successful for fueling something, a dream that doesn't have a goal. When we talk about intentness, that's when we're being realistic and but also not being persuaded to do the wrong things, guys. We want to make sure that we're consistent and that we're persistent. We want to make sure that we're doing the good things the entire time that we are achieving our dreams and our goals, guys. We don't want to be sidetracked. You know, if we've got our dream to be an NFL athlete or a D1 athlete or things like that, guys, if we take one day off and we're not doing homework, the small things like that, then we're not doing the right things to take those steps to get to our dreams. So we gotta make sure that we're consistent, persistent, and not being deterred by the wrong things. We wanna make sure that everything we do is in the right direction. And it could be the smallest little thing where our friend says, hey, instead of doing homework today, let's go get ice cream. Guys, finish your homework, then go get ice cream. We can always do the right things first. Like, like I've said before, if we do the right thing at the right time, you'll never be wrong. So guys, when we live our life with intent, we live with a purpose. And that's, you know, everything we do in life, whether it be, you know, homework, you know, doing chores around the house, training when we're here, guys, we do it with the effort that we bring with every single thing that we do in our lives. We don't want to short anything. We always want to make sure that it's checks and balances with everything in our lives. We want to make sure that we have a balanced relationship with our family. We have a balanced relationship with our friends. We're training really hard. We're doing our homework. We're doing everything with the same effort. That way we're not missing out on any single category that we could be missing out on, guys. And we want to make sure that everything that we do, we do with intent. Why are we doing this? Why do we love to do it? You know, even if we don't love doing things, why do we want to bring that energy? You know, we want to show our parents that we're grateful for everything we do. You know, we want to show our teachers that we're here to learn. We want to show our coaches and our trainers that we're here to get better. So everything we do, guys, do it with intent. Make sure that we're putting everything we have into it and always do it with a smile, guys. Last thing I'll leave you with today is good is not good enough if you can be better. Better is not good enough if you can be the best. So let's make sure that we do everything the best we possibly can, bring as much energy and love to it as possibly can. And guys, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching today.